So, I've been hit and I've been spun and you're not out of the fight, all right? Joel hits the, the jab and I'm like, oh crap, and this comes and I start fading it here. I turn, now, if I can make the step, I can kick. It goes jab and I take it or I maybe block a little bit and I shoulder this one, I have this one, okay? So again, depending on your reception of that, he throws jab, cross, and he goes to push, you turn, you roll right up the arm and you've got the elbow. Now, let's say you don't have the elbow. No problem. Make the arm a little longer. You go here and you pop, you can hit him with the forearm, okay? Let's say that you're in kickboxing, can't hit with the forearm, it's pop, pop, right? Hit him with the hammer fist or with the back knuckle, which is gonna be a spinning back fist. So it's a small footwork exchange. Instead of eating it this time, we're gonna go one, two, three, all right? Try not to know your friend, have some fun with it. I will tell you that in the street, I don't like hitting with the back of the hand. These small metacarpals, or carpals, carpals? Metacarpals. The metacarpals are ultimately gonna be fragile, okay? So you turn the hand and you strike with the big knuckles, right? So it's this way, as opposed to this way, it's not a spinning, back hand, it's a back fist. It's just easier for me to throw the hammer fist and hit with the forearm if I'm close or the elbow, right? Elbow, forearm, or hammer fist, all of those are fine on that spin. It's up to you if you wanna crank that wrist a little bit and hit with that knuckle, you will wipe people out if you choose to. Okay, have some fun. Go, go. <laughs> Same thing, hit with the 